Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the seventh tutorial in this course. In this tutorial, we are going to begin our discussion on strings. We're going to check out, you know, some string functions, and we're also going to see how we can assign value to a string variable from another string variable, right? So I've got some HTML tags in this file. And by the way, the name of the file is string1.php and the title of the document is string functions part one. And then I have the opening PHP tag on line number six, the closing PHP tag on line number 21. Between the opening and closing tags, I have some code. So I first created a variable called dollar first, and uh, I have assigned to it the string value good morning with an exclamation symbol. And then I have uh, another variable called dollar second, and this one has the value have a nice day with an exclamation mark. But there is a space character between the uh, beginning double quotation mark and the first alphabet in the string, which is H, right? So we're going to talk about why I have this space character in a minute. Then I have created another third, another variable called third, and I've assigned to it the value that's there in the variable first. And you do that by typing in your variable name and then the assignment operator. And instead of typing in a string value, you can just type in the, the name of the variable that contains a string value, right? Or, uh, you know, this would work even for numbers. It's not that you can do this only with strings. So even if the variable first had a numeric value like 55, you could still do this and the value 55 would get stored in the variable third. Then on line number 10, I have used the echo statement to display the value that's there in the variable third. And then I have passed in the break tag as a string to the echo statement on line number 11. And then I have another statement on line number 12. So before we do that, let's check out the output of this file in the browser. And uh, the name of the file is string one. Let me see if it's string one or if it's strings one. It's string one dot PHP. When I press the enter key, I see good morning first. And this is the result of uh, the first echo statement, which is on line number 10. So echo dollar third gives us good morning, which is the text that we stored in the variable first, right? And uh, then there's a new line. And uh, then on line number 12, what I have is, uh, you know, simultaneous concatenation and assignment, right? It sounds complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. So let's say you want the text that's there in the variable second to be appended to the text that's already there in the variable third. You can do that by first typing in the dot operator or the concatenation operator. And we first checked this out, uh, I guess, in our fourth tutorial when we made the hello YouTubers file or when we used the echo statement for the first time. I guess it was in that tutorial. And then you have the equal to symbol or the assignment operator followed by the name of the variable that uh, holds the text that you want to append. So let's say you want to append this string, have a nice day with the exclamation symbol to the text, good morning, then you can do it this way. And uh, let me show you guys the output. So there we go, we see good morning and then have a nice day. And this is the reason why I had a space in the second string in the first place, because I didn't want, uh, you know, the string have a nice day to start immediately after the text good morning, right? And uh, the next thing that we have in the file is, uh, I have uh, echoed out the value of the variable third as a string. I have passed it to the echo statement. So again, you know, this is something that you can do, but in practice, what you should try to do is enclose the, uh, you know, variable name within a set of curly braces. So if you would do this, you know, it would still be processed in the same way. I'll save the file and refresh it in the browser to show you guys that it works just the same, but this is a, a good thing to do. And uh, then I have a string function in my file on line number 14. I have uh, the function str to upper, which is a short form for string to upper. And what it does is it changes the case of all characters in your string to uppercase. So to it, you can pass in a string value within double quotes as an argument within the opening and closing parentheses, or you can pass in the name of a variable that contains a string value. So in this case, I have passed the variable dollar third to it, right? And uh, let's see what it has done to it. So the text initially in it was good morning, have a nice day. And it had a mix of uh, uppercase alphabets, G, M and H, and you know, a lot of lowercase alphabets, but the str to upper function has changed the case of all characters to uppercase, right? And uh, then I have uh, another function on line number 16. This one's called str to lower. And uh, I'm sure you can guess that this function changes the case of all characters to lowercase, right? So the original string was good morning, have a nice day. And it has now been changed to all characters in lowercase. And these functions do not make permanent changes to the variables, right? So if suppose you just use the str to upper uh, function 
on a variable and do not echo out the results to it on screen and you would then echo out the value that's there in the variable you would still see the original value you won't see the changed value because as i said they don't make permanent changes to values right and then finally i have uh, another function on line number 18 and this one's called uc words and what this function does is it uh, changes the case of all characters that are beginning characters of words to uppercase right and uh, this is what we get when we uh, echo out the result of the uc words function good morning have a nice day with the first alphabet of each word capitalized so you have g of good in ca in uppercase then m of morning in uppercase and so on and uh, finally i have echoed out the value of dollar third just to uh, emphasize on the point that i made uh, you know that these functions do not make permanent changes to the variables so you know if we check out the value of dollar third we would still see the original value which is you know the value that we see on line number two here so good morning have a nice day right so that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial we're going to check out more string functions and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you in the next video till then take care